The United States has finally agreed to withdraw its troops from Niger, in what is developing as the Americans' way of following the French, who upon being kicked out of the Sahel country in late 2023, didn't resist pulling out the troops, but rather obliged and left Niger territory within a couple of months. This is according to the outcomes of two meetings that the U.S. Deputy Secretary of State, Kurt Campbell, held with the Nigerian Prime Minister Ali Mohamed Lamine Zain on the Thursday and Friday of April 18 and 19, 2024, in Washington, D.C. Prime Minister Mohamed Lamine, who had traveled to the United States on the Monday of April 15 for the spring 2024 IMF and World Bank meetings, met the Deputy Secretary of State at the Harry S. Truman Building in D.C. on the sidelines of those meetings for talks on the future of the 1,000 U.S. troops in Niger. And in the aftermath of their discussions, the Americans agreed that, in as much as they disagree with some of the choices that the Niger junta has lately taken, especially their inclination towards Russia for security partnerships, they will pull out their 1,000 troops and subsequently close Air Base 201 at Agadez, just like how the junta and Nigerian public are demanding. That, the withdrawal will be effected in the coming months, and it will be conducted in accordance with the United States disengagement plan, which Washington is currently working on. And as such, the Deputy Secretary of State said that, in the coming days, there will be conversations between the Army and Washington over the timeline for that withdrawal, with the Department of Defense leading the discussions on the American side. It's reported that throughout the conversation with Kurt Campbell, Prime Minister Mohamed Zaina stressed a desire for Niger's other partnerships with the United States to continue, and made an effort to differentiate this situation from that of the French, to the point of assuring that the United States will maintain a diplomatic presence in the country. However, this move comes amid serious U.S. concerns about what it says Niger's deepening relationships with Russia and Iran, that is after the CNSP signing military cooperation agreements with Russia, and amid accusations that it might be seeking to supply Iran with uranium. It's to be noted that, as the 1,000 U.S. troops leave Niger, 100 Russian soldiers have already settled in the country, having arrived with the air defense system consignment that Niger acquired from Russia this April, and unlike U.S. troops, who were engaged in counter-violent extremist organizations' operations, by providing aerial support to the Nigerian military with their MQ-9 Reaper drones, the 100 Russians are in Niger to provide training to the Nigerian military on how to operate the Russian air defense system. With the same being an air defense system that was tactically obtained by Niger, to send a subtle warning to the United States and its allies, that Niger's airspace will be out of bounds for trespassers, or spies seeking to gather any type of intelligence with intentions to jeopardize Niger's national security. Anyway, if you found this video to be interesting, leave a comment on the developments, and don't forget to subscribe before leaving, because more updates on what's happening in the Sahel region are coming.